When your life lacks continuity and clarity, a north star, a centering reality, when your life lacks that, your life will be just as scattered as your mind. In fact, let me go in even a little bit further and tell you that if you were to allow me to peek into your brain and see chaos and clutter, I would tell you that if I look at your, if I look at your life, I would see the very same thing. It's what I see in my own life all the time. When I'm distracted by temporary things, when I lack focus, it's easy for me to stumble. When your life lacks focus, when there's no control, let me change that. When there's no controlling, centering idea outside of your own desires, if you are the center of your life, I promise you, your life is going to be chaotic and confused. Hence, the reason why the church makes it almost impossible for you to not notice all the pictures around our church buildings. You are in desperate need of constant reminders to refocus your life towards that which is eternal. Because if you don't, if you allow that to slip, or worse yet, you allow the religious part of the, your life to become nothing but a hobby or a cultural decoration. The loss of that constant reorienting power of the faith and how it constantly cries out to you, proskomen, or give your attention. You'll lose that in your life and your life will reflect a lack of centering on eternal things. What do you focus your life on? Money? Your job? Your desires? Your fears? Your anger? Your disappointment? What do you focus your life on? And number two, what do you allow your eyes to dwell on? The answers to those questions, ladies and gentlemen, will tell you who you are. For me in my house, we will gaze on the face of Jesus Christ. 